I know you don't know me, but I know you very much. She for the liberal, the traditional prime minister of the Igbo kingdom. I know you to be a man of many sides. I came here this afternoon to sing for you, and I want you to relax and listen to this song. Now that you have. Men that are men do not only look into the future, they settle down to look into the past. Show me a people that abandon their tradition, and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. You are a man in authority. You shouldn't be among the destroyers. You should be part of those that seek progress. I look, I see your funeral. I will come and sing the same song as you go to face a life of doom. Because I see. Miserable life ahead of you. You can amend. I know you can amend. And I plead with you, try amend your evil ways to avoid, to avoid the life of doom. You can avoid. You can avoid the life of doom. Can avoid a life of doom. You can avoid a life of doom. Men that are men do not only look into the future; they settle down to look into the past. Show me a people. That abandon their tradition, and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. You are a man in authority. You shouldn't be among the destroyers. You should be part of those that seek progress. I look, I see your funeral. I will come and sing. The same song as you go to face a life of doom, because I see a miserable life ahead of you. You can amend, I know you can amend, and I plead with you, try amend your evil ways. To avoid, to avoid the life of doom, you can avoid a life of doom. Do you know why I came here today? Yes, I know. Because I called you. No, <laughs> no, no. I came because. You did what I told you to do. You learned something new overnight. Okay, excuse me. Hello? Where is your exact location? What do you want to do with my exact location? And please do not ask me any questions, okay? Do you realize that I brought you from Thailand to come and work with me? What has that got to do with the question I just asked? Anyway, I'm not going to start haggling with you at this point. I want to see you, I want to see you right now because there are issues that have come up. 
and we need to talk on the way forward for the green land. Hmm. Listen to me, Baron. I do not see you as having what it takes to define anything for Greenland. Why are you provoking me, Diane? Why are you provoking me? Do not provoke me any further because there are so many things I can do when I'm provoked. And you wouldn't like any of them. So, where are you? I want to see you right now. I'll ring you back. You are not... The only green land I know in this city is the criminal network. Do you have anything to do with this body? Well, there's a difference between a criminal body and a mafia network. A self-acclaimed millionaire like you should be able to tell the difference. I want to know whom I'm dealing with. I want to know who you are. Tell me if you have anything to do with this body. You know what? I'm going to leave right now. And when you're done, when your psych normalizes, you can give me a call. I'll return. It's a promise. Wait. Hold on. You don't need to leave. I am telling you that there is nothing wrong with my psyche. In fact, the reason why I called you here, that particular thing has not been discussed. So I want us to discuss. Don't leave. Please. You know, I noticed that when I talked about Greenland, goose pimples ran through your body. And it only tells me that you are a lily livered man that managed to own a hotel. <laughs> Do you know what? I am not the kind of lady that Lily Livered Men can come to and enter. So I'll just take it. of commercial oil has been found in the Aboluka district of this kingdom. I'm also aware that a lot of um, grade one kings in the south here are involved in um, illegal oil bunkering in their domain. I have nothing to say about that. What I find disturbing is you telling me that the elders of this land, a Guigwe kingdom, are involved, are planning to engage themselves in, in, in illegal oil bunkering. I, I'm not aware of that. Are you saying because you're not aware of what has been planned means that I'm lying or something? No, no, I'm, I'm not saying you're lying. Um, what you're saying is probably the truth. But the thing is, I intend to be the king of this land. And I don't want to involve myself in anything illegal. You will never be king of this kingdom unless you can donate the money your elders demanded for. Do you have such a bond? I'm not even thinking about that. You know why? Because a lot of people are behind me. I just had a meeting with the leader of the women's society in this kingdom. And she tells me that um, they find this idea of paying the elders one billion naira obnoxious. They don't want it to happen. They don't want me to do it. And they are solidly behind me. And I, I don't have to tell you how powerful these women are. Forget about the women. They can't do anything as it is. The issue is beyond 
what they can handle. But I'm here to make you an offer. And what's the offer? I'm going to give you one billion naira to donate to your elders. And then you will be king. But you have to allow me to be in charge of the bunkery in Apoluka. Um, listen on. At the risk of being insulted, which I don't intend to be. I know for a fact that you don't have one billion naira lying around. There is this man who will be coming to this land very soon. His name is Mr. Criswell. He is the man the elders has planned to turn the entire land of Apoluka for his illegal oil exploration. This man is coming in with 10 million US dollars. And I'm going to collect that money from him. From that money, I'll give you the one billion naira to satisfy your orders. Sign this agreement, and then I'm sure we're in business. Alright, listen. Um, I have a lot of questions to ask you right now, but I'm going to share a all and ask you just one. How do you intend to get the money from the man? Leave that up to me. Sign this agreement and I can assure you, you'll be king of this land. Do not ever scheme over anything to the point of killing a human being. If you are confused in life over any matter, just laugh. Try to laugh. Laughter has a way of solving big problems. If laughter fails, watch. Fold your hands and watch that thing. Is that clear? Yes, Baba. Listen, um, I'm not going to fight scheme for what is mine. I appreciate your invitation, the deal. But with all due respect, I'm not interested. Mafia of Greenland, where he derived his power, has been paralyzed. Why is he hoping to be okay? What are you doing? All right, listen, Duncan is in this hotel. Okay, we have to leave now. Now, hold on. I'm going to. Uh, how much is it? Don't worry, just take this. Take this. What do you know about that girl? I cannot really say I know her. I told you already. I wasn't the one that attended to her. Yeah, you told me that. 
But I asked you to check up with your co-workers. What did you find out? Um, sir, the people that attended to us said she just the lady that came in to swim. She paid for her services and they granted access to the pool. That's all they know. You mean she didn't pay for a room in this hotel? Not really, sir. She didn't pay for any room. She just came to see her. She left immediately. I remain the problem to this man. That is my problem with you, Doctor. Brag too much. Those that brag do not achieve results. I've never said anything that I failed. So you can't say I brag. What do you want? I want to know your plans as regards our agreement. But I can see that you are getting so much impatient. The women of Egigwe Kingdom are planning something else. I know you are not aware of this. I want to know your operation schedule. See if we can wrap up our plans before they start to execute theirs. The kingdom is called Money Republic. Because it seems to be the only land that almost everybody could be bought. And what is the meaning of that statement? We relax and watch. Very soon, our soul will be in the midst of the women. And then, they will start speaking in different voices. It is good for us. As a matter of fact, good for you. Because you will be the ultimate beneficiary. I need an assurance that you know what you are saying, Duncan. The non-violent, but the deadly mafia of the Green Line is not as dead as I thought. That should be your problem. And what is the import of that statement? I'll talk to you much later. A very deadly mafia of Greenland is not as dead as he thought. You've still not told me why you went to McGregor in a taxi. I never intended to do that. I actually left the house with, um, with Baron. But somewhere along the line, he just... He just decided to resurrect the beast in him. Resurrect the beast in him? I don't understand that. Well, um, he is of the opinion that I slept with you. What? Yeah, can you believe that? I mean... <laughs> He actually had the audacity to stop me in the middle of the road and accuse me of sleeping with you. And even if I did sleep with you, what business of his is that? Wait, wait. This is unbelievable. What is his business with what I decide to do with my life? He's not my boyfriend, so why would he ask you that kind of question? Oh, talk of the devil. I'll talk to him. Why are you biting more than you can chew? What kind of question is that? You said you were going to call me back and you're there asking me why I'm biting more than I can chew? What kind of question is that? What do you mean? Why are you nosing around asking people who I slept with? Do I look like a nymphomaniac to you? Why are you insulting me? See, Dan, I'm not interested in all of this um, nonsense, okay? It's important that I see you immediately. I want to see you right now. Hmm. I can see that you are a low brain mafia. Why do you want to see me? Low brain mafia, huh? Look, Stanley might be the boss, okay? But I am the propelling force that runs that organization. I'm the force that makes Greenland what it is today. I masterminded every single operation that has made people reckon with that organization as it is. But you see, Stanley's an ingrate. He is a very big ingrate. And I'm on the verge of rocking the boat. So why don't you stand where I stand? Hmm. 
you open your mouth and call Stanley an ingrate. And then you also say that you can rock Greenland. Hmm. Anyway, you know, I brought you from Thailand because I wanted us to work together. Now, apparently, you are with my enemies, huh? That simply means I'm going to crush you with them. <laughs> I can see that your kind of mafia is the type that crushes the whole process because a girl refused you and spent a night with a man who is actually your superior. I'm not going to dabble into all of that nonsense, okay? I want to see you right now. Where are you? It's important that I see you immediately. Now listen to me and listen very good. I do not betray those who are in charge. Stanley is the boss and I'm going to stick with him. Uh, Diane. Diane is now hanging up on me because of Stanley. I will deal with these people. You know, I do not really comprehend this. I, I don't understand it. Because in my wildest imagination, there is no way that I can think that Baron can be this stupid. Even if I did sleep with you, what business of his is this? I mean, how can he do this? That was why I told you yesterday that you should not trust anybody. I told you. Yeah, I do trust people too easily. They always betray me. But at the end of the day, they regret it. Hmm. So, what are you saying? Are you saying that you trust me? You? Nah. <laughs> you see, I only trust women when they oblige me with their body and are free with me. You... You're still holding out on me, so I can't say I wholly trust you, but I believe we can work together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was trained by the masters. Your bones are entered. You better speak now when we may be friends with Or you shut him out and you were dead and gone. This girl that entered me with great ease. Come in. The door is open. separated from Stanley. I have. I want to work with you. My approach is different from yours. We have never agreed on anything of such. That makes you think I want to work with you. Well, approaches are naturally different. But one thing is that all of these approaches are geared towards one destination. I want to work with you because I know that destination. And don't forget the saying that this 
survival game. There are no permanent friends. There are no permanent enemies. The only thing that's permanent is interest. That's political slogan. I'm a mafia. I don't see the reason why you are talking to a mafia and making political references. Try and grow up. Okay. See, the line between a politician and a mafia is very thin. Anyway, let's let's not go into all of that. So, can I? At least sit. Okay. All right. Uh, I know you don't trust me because of my past. We can achieve a lot together. Let me work with you. Give me the chance. What you're asking me to do is exactly what the women fear. My dear, I've told you forget about what the women fear. There are two things you have to bear in mind. I am your husband and I will always want the best for you. Remember that those in position of power always use their position to better their lot. So if you agree to work for the men in council, be rest assured we are going to be millionaires. I already gave the women my words that I will never renew in this matter until I see the complete implementation of this succession agreement of 1951. And it will be a serious dent on my image if I start to say a different thing now. Honey, you're not going to be the first to say something and you renew on it. That is politics for you. And remember, those that want to make money must become politicians. Too well, my husband. That you are not moved except you are moved by the powerful men of the society. Now, who are these people that moved you into this? Who are they? I'm glad you appreciate the fact that I'm not easily pushed. Powerful men of Egigwe Kingdom are involved in this. Money has been promised and money will be made available. So, we are going to be among the most powerful families in this land. Like how much are we talking about here? My dear, nothing, I say nothing, less than 50 million naira will get into this family in the first installment. And we will be among the families that will benefit from subsequent money that comes into the kingdom. They are not asking us to kill anybody. All you have to do is use your powerful position as the women leader to destabilize that association. Mr. Criswell comes in town in the next couple of days. I've already set my plans. I'm not going to change anything. Good. Very good. You know, I want to be part of that plan. The plan is bigger than Greenland. Oh, Greenland again. Greenland. Duncan, I told you I have left the Greenland. I have left Stanley. <laughs> That's a few hours ago. And that's because he slept to a woman you flew in from Thailand, all because you needed to get at me. You know, I'm not comfortable with the fact that you could blow a wizard on the Mafia network all because of a woman. Dan, 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 Dan. Yes, that was an issue, but she wasn't the main reason I left the Greenland. I want to know the reason. <laughs> See, Duncan, I, I left the Greenland because Stanley is not brutal. He calls himself a mafia, but he's not brutal. You know, he goes about talking about his own style, systematic dismemberment and all that bull crap, not shedding blood. That's not my style. That's not. You know, it has
hurts me so bad. It hurts me to remember a whole lot that I have personally lost because of Stanley's lenient disposition to serious issues. But I've learned my lessons. I've learned long ago that it was my fault. It was my fault to have allowed such a loser to be my boss. You are sounding as if you're permanently on fire. I am. Way back in Mexico, I've dealt with your type. They promised the heaven and earth, and at a dying minute, they disappoint. I will tell you immediately that I'm not one of them. Okay? Good. Now that we know, tell me about that plan of yours. What are we gonna do to Mr. Criswell? Let me be more specific. Until one of you has met with requirements as stipulated by the elders in council, you shall not be crowned king. Chief Odilibe and the elders are daring me. They don't know me. Your wife just called me. And what is the meaning of that? Why would my wife call you? She said she has called you countless number of times, but you weren't picking. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I've been sitting here. My phone. My phone has been ringing. I didn't know. That's why you have to think less of the throne. If you continue like this, you will break down. There is nothing more important to me than the throne. The throne means everything. What did my wife say? She's coming back tomorrow. And why did you encourage her to come back at this crucial time? Hmm? Things are pretty messy right now. I don't want her here. She said the temperature in Canada has dropped to zero degree. She can't continue staying there anymore. She's not comfortable, so she decided to come back home. I sent her to Canada so she can deliver safely there. Why is she coming back? She can't continue staying there anymore. She's no longer comfortable. She can always fly back to Canada. She can't ask a pregnant woman to continue staying where she's not comfortable with anymore. So she decided to come back home. You signed an agreement with Duncan. And I want us to plan the aftermath of that agreement. Aftermath of the agreement? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Duncan is not going to implement that agreement. He will still come after you. Let us plan on how to handle Duncan. Yeah. There is a crack in the walls of Greenland. Are you aware of it? We signed an agreement, Mr. Duncan. I want us to talk about that agreement. I don't want to discuss Greenland. Let's meet tonight. If you want us to see tonight, then you must come to my place. When Mafia men start anything, Continue in that line till that thing is achieved. Your wife will soon be home. I don't want to meet you where your wife is. Best bet, let's continue to meet at my place. How did you know about my wife, Duncan? 
I am more deadly than you can ever imagine. Let's meet at my place tonight. knows about my wife. How? My wife couldn't have told him. How? I don't know. Hmm. I want all the telephone lines in this house changed. Yes, boss. She concluded that I cannot do anything because I play all the time. <laughs> I am going to make her know that I remain the evil man of Greenland. The song you just listened to is my special song for you. The title is Stay Away From That. I look at you and I see your funeral coming so fast. I am going to be available during your funeral to perform the same song for you. Stop right there. Make one more move. Be dead, and I'll be the one to attend that stupid funeral of yours. Who are you? And what do you want from me? I am a musician. And I am so surprised that you have pulled a gun against the psalmist that came to sing you a psalm. A psalmist? 
came to sing me a song. <laughs> he came to sing me a song. All right. Let's hear it. Someone? Some 23? Some 40 or 100? Let's hear it. Hmm? Let's... <laughs> What kind of dream is this? I want you to listen to me very clearly. I am going to deal with you. I am going to deal with you so badly you wouldn't know what happens to you. No. In the house where a masquerade lives, in the vineyard of the masquerade, there is always a human being. The more you open your mouth, the more you give yourself away. What do you actually think you can achieve on your own? Who do you call the masquerade and who do you call the man? <laughs> Until you tell me why you slept with him, I want you to realize that you're in shit. Well, listen, I have talked to him, okay, and I have been able to convince him that you acted out of youthful exuberance. So just Give him a call. Call him now. I'm sure he's ready to take you back. I should call who? Me? Call who? <laughs> Listen to me, Dan. What do you take me for? Huh? What do you take me for? One little boy walking the streets and needs shielding? My dear. I know the streets. I walk the streets. I am a street boy. And a street boy knows everything. A street boy is versatile in everything. A street boy can do anything and can also do. Listen, I, I want you to tell me your exact location right now. Where are you as we speak? Hello? What sort of embarrassment is this? Why would you badge in on me like this? My name is Blaska Alonso. I'm a musician. I prefer to sing in funeral of people that made costly mistakes and they died before their time. I came to you because I see you on the verge of making that same mistake. I see you on the verge of death. And if you die, so soon as I see, I will attend your funeral. And when I come, I am going to sing in that funeral of yours. Uh, uh, wait, wait. Hold on. Listen. You don't know me. How would you just walk up to a promising young girl like me and talk about funeral? What makes you feel like I'm thinking about expiring soon? Is that what you think? That I don't know you? Your name is Diane. You just came back from Thailand to do something for a mafia body in this town. People look at you and they believe you are a slut. I came to you because I know you are not a slut. In your entire life, you have had sex only seven times with seven different men. You never banged any man twice. And as far as I'm concerned, that is a wonderful, fantastic record. And that's why I came to you. I look at you and I see potentials. 
I want you to be alive. Don't make this costly mistake so that you can realize these wonderful potentials you have. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, please, please. Listen, I, I, I have a feeling that you're into some sort of metaphysical act, something. I'm curious, how do you know the things you know about me? Why have you come to me and why, how come you, what, who told, how do you know everything I am? Just because of you, I have checked into this hotel. I am in room 413, upstairs. Make our time and come to my room. I have so many things to discuss with you. In fact, I want to guide you. Room 413. I'm sure you thought I was going to call you back. If you had thought so, then you are the biggest fool ever. Listen, I'm going to so deal with you that you would regret ever, ever coming back from Thailand. There is a man called Blaska Alonso. He is a musician. Do you know anything about him? Have you heard anything about him before? What's my business with musicians? Huh? Why are you calling me to ask me about a musician? Why would you call to ask me about anybody in the first place? Am I your partner? Listen, that is the problem you have. You never know when to get serious. Listen, there's something about that man named Blas Alonso, and I want to know if you know anything about him. I only start trusting women when I see what they have to offer. And since you have refused, let me see what you've got. You can continue to fool yourself until such a time that I'm so going to deal with you. <laughs> Listen, it seems this line is the only line you guys use around here to get some cheap ladies into your bed. I, Diane, cannot be tricked with cheap lines like that. You cannot smuggle me into your bed with lines like that. I am a poet and I love to play with lines too. You know what, Diane? Get rid of my number from your phone and stop calling me. Don't you ever call me again. You know what? You're going to need something from me very soon. And I promise you, you won't get it. The song you just listened to is my special song for you. The title is Stay Away From Death. I look at you and I see your funeral coming so fast. I am going to be available during your funeral to perform the same song for you. Laska. Laska Alonso. Musician. Could you be this, the same man? Ask our lungs. Why is this slot not taking her call? Bitch, pick your 
called bitch. I hit this bitch! This bitch cut my call. You see, am I not vindicated? I said it. I said it in the last meeting, and people were wondering where I was coming from. I want Mrs. Sechosan to swear that she has not collected breath. Yes. I beg your pardon. How do you want me to swear? Collected bribe? From who? From the people you are representing, Mrs. Sechuzana. Or do you think I don't know the politics that is going on? Yes. Come on, I am terribly disappointed that a woman like you, that sits in the position of authority, could descend to the level of accepting to work for the enemies of this land. Can somebody tell Mrs. Okalibe to stop insulting me? We should understand that we are women, and we cannot disobey the men that sit in council. Okay? They have a plan and we should work according with their plans to make this kingdom move forward. Mrs. Echezana, there's a way I'm seeing this thing. I see a picture of inconsistency and any woman that is inconsistent is not worthy to be the leader of the Egibwe Women Assembly. Yes. Hey, exactly. thank you. God will bless you. God will definitely bless you. And you, Mrs. Echezana, are you saying that we should follow the men that sit in council in whatever they do, even when it is clear to us that what they are doing is wrong? One thing we need to understand that leadership is dynamic and not static. I settle down to analyze what the men are saying and I see some senses in that. So why don't we follow these men, follow their plans and move this kingdom forward? That's all. What of the 1951 agreement that we all have been defending? If we go by this strange argument and follow the men in council, what then will happen to the argument? The question is, what are we going to gain from the said agreement of 1951? The answer is nothing. We are just defending the agreement. And now that it's clear to us that the men in charge of our government here do not want the agreement anymore, we should work with the men to move this kingdom forward. This is not Mrs. Sechos in a talking. Yes. What has come over you? I've been influenced by something, yeah. and I'm not going to be part of it. Do not cease. And let me tell you, go and mark it somewhere. I'm going to get to the root of this. I'm out of fear. Rubbish. Let her go. We cannot follow her bad example and divide the women. We need to be together. I don't know of others. I'm talking about myself. Something tells me that Mrs. H. Zona may have collected some money from the men to take this position she's talking about now. Am I right or wrong? You're right, my dear. You're right. I will bluntly tell you that you're wrong. I am a leader, and a leader should always read the handwriting on the wall. I have read the handwriting on the wall, and I've come to know that we should follow the men to carry out our plans. That's all. We should keep this kingdom forward. That is the only thing I'm saying. Make her time and come to my room. I have so many things to discuss with you. In fact, I want to guide you. Room four, one, three. The door is open. Hello. 
One good thing about you is that your tongue is very sharp. You have never murdered anybody in your life. You use your tongue to cover up. And many people now regard you as an evil girl. But I know you have never killed anybody. You are a saint. Covered in the clothes and attitude of a whore. And based on that, I want us to work together. You know so much about me. Who are you? The telephone is working. I want you to make a call. Just in case you don't drink what I have here. Brandy vodka. I combine both. Make a call and order for whatever you want to drink because I want you to sit down here. We have a whole lot to discuss. I am not comfortable with that look. The men have heard about the outcome of the meeting and they are very, very impressed with you. Why would they be impressed? Of course, I know they will be happy, but I'm very, very bitter. Why are you sounding this way? You have just scored a big political mark and you should be very happy about that. I am not happy. The once dynamic Egwige Women Assembly has been destroyed. The assembly became strong in my tenure. It is regrettable that I am still the person that destroyed it. I have the feeling that you have not seen the envelope I left for you in the wardrobe. What envelope are we talking about? I have not opened the wardrobe since I came back. Uh, now I see why you're bitter. Just wait one minute. <laughs> This is one million naira from the men in council, and they promise to do more. Why can't you be happy? One million naira? Yes, one million naira. For me? Yes, of course. This is unbelievable. Honey, I give you my word. I will destroy the women assembly. I will. Go ahead and destroy them. That's what I want you to do. It's Stanley. I don't know what he wants. Go ahead, pick up the call and tell him off. Pick it up. Hello? A dog can eat any bone, chew any bone it finds. But it will not chew the bone that hangs around its own neck. Do you understand the meaning of that saying of our people? You mean you called me this night to ask me the meaning of Proverbs? You know, the first time we talked, I saw a woman who has a lot to offer to the new Egoigwe kingdom. So, now you think I don't have anything to offer? Well, I heard about what you did today at the women's meeting. How you tried to destroy or destabilize it. So I called to tell you that you can destroy the woman but you cannot destroy the spirit of the woman are you sure you are talking to me do you know my what in this land whatever you were worth has now been destroyed the mere fact that you will allow yourself to be used by people who are out to destroy this kingdom makes you an enemy of this community so i called to let you know that that is regrettable. Do you think you are important in this land? I had wanted to work with you because I thought you had something to offer. But for you to have made this call this night to say all this nonsense, had opened you up as a man that has no regard for the men in authority of this land. And I don't think I will continue to talk with you.
What exactly did he say? Imagine Stanley, if, if I can do, telling me on how I have now become an enemy of this land. Honey, don't worry about Stanley. The only thing that made him relevant was the secession agreement of 1951. And right now, that document is no more valid. So Stanley Ifekando should not be your headache. Okay? Imagine. One million naira. Yes, honey. More are coming. Be happy. You don't mean it. More are coming. Believe oh. me. Are you from Egi Grey Kingdom? Why would you ask that? Because you seem to know everything about everybody in that kingdom. And that really gets me scared. How were you able to find out that Stanley has never murdered anybody in his life? Oh well, I, I did some findings. Then I compared it with what Baron told me and what Stanley told me himself. I put two and two together, I just realized that Stanley is a very good man. He is harmless and he can be trusted. You know, very soon, too many things will start happening in a Guibo kingdom. Stanley is a noble man and based on that, I would like to work for him. Oh, oh well, I, I already work for him and if you want, I I can talk to him. I'm sure he would like to meet somebody like you. Not so fast. Because there is a snack. He cannot pay me. Stanley cannot pay you. <laughs> Are you that expensive? I want you to be the one that would pay me. Seriously, this is getting really funny and interesting. Stanley cannot pay you. And then you think I can actually pay you. How much do you ever think I, I have? You know, despite all the strip dancing you did in Bangkok, Thailand, you are still like an uncensed woman. Almost a virgin, and I'm impressed. So, whatever you can afford to pay me will be appreciated. I am going to be working for Stanley. You are going to be the one that will pay the bill. I came to win. Hello? Yes, I, I want to know where you are tonight. I want to see you. And please do not say no. Please. Listen, Baron. If this is the reason you have been calling me all night, then I'll just cut off this call. Seriously. Okay. All right. I want you to tell me everything you know about that musician. Everything I know about which musician? Who are you talking about? I am talking about Blaska Alonso. Tell me everything you know about him. Uh, I don't know anything about the man. You don't know anything about the man? But you were the same person that called me to tell me about this same musician. Now you don't know anything about him? Um, well, I... I was just nosing around. You know, and I... I met this couple of guys that confirmed to me that he is the original Mafia of this town. That you guys just parade yourself as Mafia. So I called you. I called you to confirm if he is as powerful as the sea. See, Dan, let me just tell you this. And I need you to listen to me very well. See, Blaska Alonso is an evil man. Okay? He is evil. He's not a Mafia. He's a mask. This man has the power to appear in people's dreams and then continue the same movement in the physical world. He is the number one enemy of the Mafia. You have to be careful, okay? Um, well, I can tell from the way you talk that you're actually scared of this guy. 
And based on that alone, I think I want to work with him. Are, are you out of your mind? You want to work with a guy I just described as a masquerade? You see, maybe you don't understand. This guy appeared to me in a dream. I, I've since realized it wasn't a dream. It came to the physical. Then, see, you need to be careful with everyone you work with and everything you do in this town. Please. Um, listen, listen, listen. You know what, Byron? Just let me be, okay? Let me be. Pam. Are you actually as deadly as they say you are? Can you actually appear in people's dreams? When your mother sleep, the forces of darkness shall be obedient to you. 99% of men you see wallowing in backwardness and poverty do because they have not mothered sleep. They sleep their lives away. This man that is sitting here with you is not just a man as you think. He is a mass word. You scare me when you say you are a masquerade and not a man. What does that mean? You know, it is believed that women need sleep more than men. And based on that, I will ask you to go and sleep because it is getting late. But do realize that beginning from tomorrow, so many things will begin to happen and I, I want us to start work by tomorrow. Are you, are you actually asking me to, to leave? I can see it in your eyes. You are attracted to me and that is because you are fond of falling in love with men that are weird and you believe I'm weird. If I ask you now to spend the night with me, you are not going to object. You may even elect to fire from all cylinders. But I'm not going to ask you to do that. I want you to go. I do realize that we are working together for Stanley. We are beginning tomorrow. Good night. This is a funeral song. I'm singing it before your face. I want you to tell me everything you know about that man. Oh, Blaska Alonso. <laughs> this is a man that wines and dines with the masters and the occult. I actually encountered him once. And I pray never to encounter him again. Never. He has... He has this telepathic powers. He can be here and know what is happening somewhere else. This is a man you cannot hide your gun from. Because as far as you stand before him, you are completely naked. He sees you as you are. You see, and the most mysterious thing of this man is that bullets are deposited in his hands. He can fire at you without a gun. Yes, I, I also encountered him. And I pray never, ever, ever 
to meet with him again. Never. I mean, but come to think of it, do you think that kind of man can have time for women? Well, <clears throat> you see, that girl you sent to me, she has her own powers. She was able to enter me with ease. And for the first time in my life, I started to fall in love. Hmm. She's a smooth operator. Listen, if she could enter me, I believe she can enter any man. Any man. Let us just pray that she will be the one to unmark the marks we now call Blaska Alonso, the dangerous musician from Cable 4. Well, um, now that you're talking about you falling in love, let me find out something from you. Did you, did you sleep with that girl? What is the importance of that question? The importance of that question is that I imported that bitch from Thailand. Of course I know you imported her from Thailand. I know, I'm aware why you imported her. You actually imported her to get at me. And you felt that you succeeded. But I must let you know immediately, you did not succeed. Okay, let's not talk about all of that. Let's not talk about all that crap. Did you sleep with Diane? Well, it is clear that she may have acquired some seductive techniques in Thailand as a stripper. She willingly showed me everything. Everything. And she really activated my libido really bad. But that was it. That was it. She will show you the beauty, but you will not be allowed to come any closer. She is a scripper by excellence. That's how I call it. Mm -hmm. I trigger sex in most men. And these men will tell you that I am the most beautiful and sexiest girl they have ever met. They have not come into me yet. They have only come in contact with my beauty. Because sex is not an obsession for me. Do you think that she's going to sleep with that musician? Oh, come on, stop asking me all these useless questions. We've got work to do tomorrow, and I've got to think. triggers me is different from what triggers other girls. I want you, and I know you want me to, listen to your body. Your body is calling. Sex has never been your obsession. 
So why would you want to start now? Uh, B has... Um... You have potentials. And I can see these potentials that you have. You are going to achieve those potentials. But only one thing is required of you. Do not allow yourself to be taken by just anybody. Oh well... <laughs> I know. I know you are not just... You're not just anybody. Diane... I'm going to give you one advice and I want you to obey. Dress up. And go and sleep. And I'm going to have you when I'm going to have you. And when I do, it is going to be hot. I'm good for everybody. Just go. Think this is Thailand and you can just night crawl anyhow you like? Do you know a man named Blaska Alonso? How do you know him? Who told you about him? <laughs> I guess that you also see him as evil, right? Listen, that man is not just evil, that man is satanic. Okay, some people even think he's related to the Antichrist. Now, who told you about him? <laughs> Stanley, I can assure you that that man is working for you. Who told you that? Where did you meet him? You always forget that I was trained by the masters. Listen, I do not judge men in a hurry. All of you in the circle of Greenland judge that musician in a hurry. You know him? As the musician? Who have you been talking to? I have been talking to the musician himself. And seriously, that man is working for you. You met Alonzo and he told you he's working for me? That man knows everything. Whatever information you think Duncan has is nothing compared to what that musician has. Listen, if we can have that musician, we do not need Duncan again. Let, let, let me just understand something here. Alonzo himself told you that he's working for me. You know what? I'll see you in the morning. Oh, come on. Are you going to do that again? Do what, my lord? Don't you think it's time that we spend the night together in my bed? Sex has never been your obsession. And I don't want it to start now. Listen, you have great potentials. And you are going to achieve those potentials if you do that which is required of you. You must not be taken by just anybody. Yeah, and, and, and what do you mean by just anybody? You think you're just anybody? You are my lord and I am your subject. Lords do not sleep with their subjects unless certain areas are handled. Listen, we we'll live in this house together so we have enough time. I'll see you in the morning. She is close and yet too far. How am I going to unlock this girl? Baron misbehaved because he concluded I slept with her. When will she allow me to do it for real?
up like that. What I have here is not up to ten million dollars, but surely up to one billion naira. I've played my part, and you will have to take this money and give it to your elders in council. And there is a crown you king. I am ready to command the crew. Exploration as agreed. Impressive. I never knew this would work. My name is Duncan. I always do what I know. Good. I want to know. Just curious. Did you kill that man to take his money? Well, I don't think that should bother you at all. <clears throat> People kill to assume political positions in order for you to become a king. He had to die. I see. All right. Mr. Duncan. You are now part of the politics of a Gigwe kingdom, even though you are not from here. I will keep you posted every step of the way. Good luck. Thank you. And if anyone who constitutes the bearer of the realization of our quest, just let me know. Call me and I will pay him a visit. You shall become the king, and I will be in charge of the cruel exploration. Good luck, man. Mr. Doc. You know, I, uh, I don't see the reason why you have to hide. I mean, it makes no difference. Makes a lot of difference. Um, he knew me as the strong man of the Greenland. He would never, ever believe that I have left Stanley. Okay? You know, this minute you speak like a strong mafia and I'm happy. Another minute, you speak like a schoolgirl. And then I'm, I'm wondering to myself, who the fuck are you? <laughs> well, um, I don't want to go into all of that. Because you, you know that I'm a mafia. You know I'm a mafia. Um, like I said, that's not an issue for now. What is important, is for us to share the money, the balance. Hmm, now here is the bigger picture. We are going to commence operation as Bokarats. Hmm? Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> yeah. So we need that balance to start up our business. Good. Now wait. <laughs> are you telling me that we are not sharing that money? I don't want to dwell on this topic for long. I'm the one in charge here. I see what happens. It is very unfortunate that when you kill an insect crying in a bush, 
another one starts crying. So where is the good man? Oh, he said that he wants to sort out something, but he'll be back shortly. Okay. Are you his wife or girlfriend? Oh, no, <laughs> no. I'm nothing of that sort. I'm just his friend. Actually, he's my boss. I think that's him. I think he should be the one. Are you sure? Mr. Criswell, this is the blood you shed to end manipulation in Egigwe Kingdom. Very soon, a lot of things shall be happening in this land. I still want to proceed to see the others. We have a meeting today and I know they'll be waiting for me. You know, it is difficult for people to trust these days because the word trust has been abused by many people that do not even know what it means. But I want you to trust me. I trust you. What do you want me to do? I will give you a phone. You are going to place a call to the elders and council. Tell them that you are no longer interested in the business. Why, why do you want me to do that? I'm interested in the business, that's why I... And exactly. I am also interested in the business. In fact, all of us are working for the business. But I want you to call the elders. Tell them that after making broader inquiries, that you have come to the conclusion that there is only one option you have, and that is to discontinue with this business. I don't know why you want me to do this. I'm still ready. Diane, is there a way you can explain to this man that I am one man that must be trusted? It is clear to me that what I'm asking you to do is very difficult. But as it is now, what I'm asking you to do is the only way forward. Do it. <laughs> Where is this man? Is he not coming anymore? We don't have to run into completion yet. Let's wait until night falls. Till night falls? So we sit around here waiting for this man. A man who cannot even pick up his phone and call us to tell us what exact situation it is with him now. We have no option other than wait for him. It's true the oil is in our land, but we don't have the technology to drill it. So all we have to do is to wait for Mr. Criswell that will help us. So gentlemen, let's exercise patience. Gentlemen, enough of the rhetoric. I still maintain that we have to start this exploration on our own. Though $10 million is quite a huge amount of money. But we can make more if we start the exploration on our own. Mr. Chesona, don't capitalize on the fact that we admitted you to this meeting to be making some stupid suggestions. Where are you going to get enough equipment to start our, the exploration of ourselves? Where? Mr. Chesona. Hello? Hello, this is Mr. Criswell calling. Mr. Criswell, how are you? I'm fine. Well, we've been calling you, you didn't pick up your call. Uh, are you on your way? I'm so sorry about the missed calls. I misplaced my phone. I'm actually calling with my friend's phone. Oh, 
Sorry about that. Well, we are all here at the town hall waiting for you. Are you on your way now? I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Delivery. I'm not interested in business. But, but, but why? What happened? It's my personal decision. I just called to let you know. Uh, but Mr. Hello? Hello, Mr. Chriswell, hello? You see, I, I salute your courage. This is only the beginning of the scheme. Sincerely, as an honest life, I appreciate your trust. And I will not let you down. No problem. You are keeping us in endless suspense. And this is not good for us. Please, what did she say? Well, I don't know what uh, informed his decision. But he had just told me that he's no longer interested in this business. Are we not back on square one? I told you people what we need to do. And you're still seated here, waiting endlessly for a man we hardly know his commitments. Has he not proved me right? Has he not? Hello? My name is Bishop Okarike. Good afternoon, Chief of Delivery. Yes, Bishop, what can I do for you? I am right in front of your gate as I speak. Your security man told me you are not at home. Well, my gate man is correct. May I ask you what you are doing in front of my gate? The elders in council insisted that I bring one billion naira before I will be crowned king. The money is here. Uh, um, um. Uh, Mr. Bishop, you are telling me you are standing in front of my gate now with one billion naira? You heard me right, Chief. The money is right here. Well, very well then. <laughs> you drive straight to the town hall. Elders are here waiting for you to receive the money from you. Good. I also want you to bring some of the key political women to witness the handover of the money. That will not be a problem at all. It will not be a problem at all. Before you get here, the women will be here. Please drive carefully. Hmm? Bishop is driving down here to this town hall with one billion naira on him. Did I hear you say one billion naira? To hell with Mr. Criswell. I can't believe this. Are you saying that this young man has up to a billion naira? The young man has the capacity to provide this. He has what it takes to be the next king of this kingdom. <laughs> Our money bag is here. Mm. <laughs> Chief, sir. I'm not interested. Thank you. Mrs. Okalike, this is yours. Take it. What am I supposed to do with this? Is it Mrs. Okalide, um, I heard all you did and said at the Women's Assembly. Frankly, I was impressed. I was impressed. If we had more people like you in this community, we wouldn't be the laughing stock of um, other kingdoms that call us uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, money republic. You see, I stood my ground based on principle. I was not expecting money from anybody. Yes, but you see, I believe that those who abide by the truth must be made to benefit from it. I've heard about the, all the other women in your assembly that they were giving money to create chaos. But surprisingly, you are not one of them. And frankly, I am impressed. So think of this as your 
benefit for standing by the truth. Mm. Just as you left me now, Chief Odilbe called me. He said that I should come to the town hall. Did he say why? Mm. He said uh, that we have money to share, but I told him I wasn't interested. You see, this is why I am impressed by you. Now, just continue to stand by the truth. I assure you, those who stand by the truth will never be put to shame. I don't want you to feel left out. This is why I gave you this money. Please, there is more where this came from. Continue to stand by the truth. Uphold the law. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am not standing here before you all today because I have brought the one billion naira the elders demanded. No. I am standing here because I am convinced that we are on the verge of transforming Egiwe Kingdom into a powerful political land. I have mapped out a series of plans for this kingdom. And I hereby pledge to open up this kingdom to international businesses. So, I want you all to calm down, relax, and crown me king. And be rest assured that our nickname of Money Republic will be celebrated the world over. Egiwe Kingdom. My fellow elders of the Egyptian kingdom, what we have before us here is one billion naira. The exact amount required of any designate who wants to become king of this kingdom. Now, Bishop, the son of Akadike, has fulfilled this requirement. Now, I ask us now that if anyone has any reason why we should not crown the bishop the next king of this kingdom to the rest of the or say it now. why I decided to support the agenda of elders in council is because I was told you should continue to discharge the powers of the king until Prince Cyprian is of age. Yes, you're quite right. But now that we are seeing money, that arrangement could be dropped. I shall be sincere with you, Chief Odilibe. I am not comfortable with Bishop becoming the king. Well, you see, I am happy that you called me out to tell me this. But let me assure you something. I will personally make sure that you are not shortchanged in the sharing of that one billion naira. You just continue to give me your support. And when the dust settles, I will make you so relevant to this kingdom. Now let's go back in there before they start to read meaning into this aside. If you declare yourself the king, will the heaven fall? Ah, Mrs. Cesar, there are some things you just don't say. If I declare myself the king of this kingdom, ah, the kingdom will go up in flames. It will. I am still the women leader. And I can assure you nothing will happen. I will handle the women and I'm sure you can handle the men too. You're quite right. 
But see, I am still the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. My interest is money. Hmm? Money comes when there's peace. I don't want to risk chaos in this land. Money is my interest. Hmm? Why are you sounding that way? What is wrong with you? Where are you calling from? You have not answered my question. What is the matter with you? Oh, well. Bishop Bukadike has come up with the one billion that the elders asked for. They are going to crown him king at the central palace next tomorrow. That is what's bothering me. Have you asked yourself where Bishop Okadiki got the one billion naira from? This man is coming in with 10 million US dollars. And I'm going to collect that money from him. And from that money, I'll give you the one billion naira. Something just occurred to me. Hmm, what is that? You know, Duncan came to me with a deal that I rejected. He might have gone to um, a bishop with the same deal and he accepted. That's the only way he could have come up with the money. Hmm. So do you mind telling me what the deal is about? All right. Uh, you, you, know, you know, Mr. Cresswell, you found this information on Duncan's computer. Now, the deal was this. Uh, uh, Duncan wanted to kill Mr. Cresswell and steal his money. And then give me the one billion naira for the elders so I can become king. And then he, Duncan, will be the person in charge of the bunkering at Abuluka uh, district. My problem right now is how to verify that Mr. Cresswell has arrived. Stanley, I have shocking news to give you. Okay, spill it. Mr. Cresswell came into the kingdom Today, he was attacked and his money was stolen. Who told you that? I am here with Mr. Cresswell. You're somewhere right now with Mr. Cresswell? Where are you? Where, tell me. He was shot. They actually thought he died. But he was wearing a bulletproof. I'm here nursing his bruised arm. Okay, okay, j just tell me, where are you right now? Why do you want to know where I am? I need to see you. I, I need to come where you are. Where are you? Do you think it's a good idea? I need to see you. I need to see him. I need to know what's going on. Tell me! Um, you know what, my lord? I'll, I'll call you back, alright? Listen, listen! Diane! Shh. Who is this person you just told everything about me? <sighs> he is one man you can trust in the whole of Ekigwe Kingdom. Really? Yeah. Don't worry. I would not betray you. you trust can. me. Oh, I trust you. Mm -hmm. Look, man, I don't think I've ever seen you before. I don't know this space. What do you want to... And how do you get into my compound? I know you don't know me. But I know you very much. She for the liberal. The traditional prime minister of the Gigwe kingdom. I know you to be a man of many sides. I came here this afternoon to sing for you. And I want you to relax and listen to this song now that you have the opportunity. Men that are men do not only look into the future, they settle down to look into the past. Show me a people that abandon their tradition, and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. 
You are a man in authority. You shouldn't be among the destroyers. You should be part of those that seek progress. I look, I see your funeral. I will come and sing the same song as you go to face a life of doom. Because I see. Miserable life ahead of you. You can amend. I know you can amend. And I plead with you. Try and amend your evil ways. To avoid. To avoid the life of doom. You can avoid. You can avoid the life of doom. Can avoid a life of doom. You can avoid a life of doom. Men that are men do not only look into the future; they settle down to look into the past. Show me a people. That abandon their tradition, and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. You are a man in authority. You shouldn't be among the destroyers. You should be part of those that seek progress. I look, I see your funeral. I will come and sing. The same song as you go to face a life of doom, because I see a miserable life ahead of you. You can amend, I know you can amend, and I plead with you, try and amend your evil ways. To avoid, to avoid the life of doom. You can avoid a life of doom. Ah, uh, 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 young man, wait, stop, stop, come. The, the song, the song. What, what does it mean? The song is self-explanatory. Millions of people the world over have fallen in love with my kind of music. Very concise, very dynamic, and straight to the point. As you are standing here before me looking like a fool, you are sleeping. And you are going to wake up when I'm gone. She for deliver. When you wake up, try and do the right thing. See it for the very last time. When you wake up, you do the right thing. Set me up. I don't get it. Only man, but set me up. 
Stanley knows everything that transpired between you and Mr. Criswell. He knows you attacked him. He knows that the one billion naira I gave to the elders was from the money you took from Mr. Criswell. Now it's obvious he couldn't have known all this without you talking. So I ask you this, Duncan. Why make me part of this business when you cannot keep a secret? Listen.